Hello Linux fans, Rob here. Welcome to Linux Quest. Thank you for watching. So I've had a few requests uh, pertaining to Cub Linux and if you've never heard of Cub Linux, um, before it was Cub it was Chromixium. That was the first time I had looked at Cub and due to the um, the naming of Chromixium I think there were some issues there and the distro had to be renamed to Cub Linux which is a combination of um, of Ubuntu and Chromium, so thus Cub. Um, so this is version 1 and, and it's been at version 1 for quite some time. Um, I first looked at this months ago and um, later as it was released uh, as Cub had installed it at that time. Never did a video but I've had a few requests in the channel to compare Cub Linux to say Peppermint OS and I just want to start off by saying that uh, you really have to look at these two distros in a, in a different light. You would not, I don't think, fairly compare Peppermint OS to Cub Linux. So the focus of Cub Linux is really for a Chrome user, a Chromebook user. Uh, so if you have someone who maybe they're interested in Chrome OS, um, to me this would be a better alternative in that you can get all of the additional Linux software um, but have a nice clean simple interface that looks similar to Chrome. Um, so I'm kind of mixed with this because it really hasn't been updated in quite some time so for example we're currently running uh, 1404 Ubuntu 1404 long-term release um, with kernel 4.2 they offer both 32-bit and 64-bit uh, versions and this is uh, a 32-bit version running on a netbook, an HP Stream netbook with 4 gigs of RAM and uh, an Intel Celeron processor. So it's certainly not a beast of a machine. It's a glorified netbook. For the most part it runs fine. Um, you've got a combination of things going on here to give you the, the nice clean look we see here and it is, it's attractive. It does remind you especially when you launch into the app launcher which on this system is really slow. Uh, you notice there, so I'm going to go back and do this again, so click, and it just now is popping up. The other thing uh, you'll notice too is if you do a search, and I'm going to do a search in this case for ICE, you'll see that it's uh, searching in the Chrome Web Store or Google search. Um, so that's really what you're searching for. You're looking for various Chrome extensions when you're searching through this particular menu which is smart if you're going after the user base that you know, uh, if you're going after the Chrome OS user base um, that's something that would be familiar to them. Now um, I'm going to back up just a minute here. This is a combination of OpenBox and XFCE. The desktop itself I believe is OpenBox which is themed out and then you have some uh, various controls from XFCE. Uh, again, it's a nice clean interface, um, you know, simple file manager that, that would certainly do the trick. Um, you know, and for the most part, if you're just after a Linux distribution to um, use uh, web applications, this would be fine. You would have some of those Google apps uh, pre-built in here with a, a window environment. So if we launch into uh, Google Drive, you're going to launch into a windowed environment similar to what you would with uh, an ice specific or with ice which is a site specific site excuse me site specific browser I've got to slow myself down some days um, so ice is something that you see pre-installed and set up in peppermint OS it's very effective it's more effective I think than what you have here and the reason I say that is is because it it allows you to go in and configure more than what you see here um, to give you that uh, windowed environment, that control. The other thing that you have going on here is you have all of your standard applications um, by simply right clicking on the desktop you can go to the what I'm going to say is the real full list of applications not this um, semi list of applications here so you've got two things two worlds going on here and I understand what the developers going after and for the most part it's effective again if you just wanted a Linux distribution that was simple uh, that gave you that Chrome OS feel this would be it however now that Google has introduced um, um, 
excuse me, Android applications into Chrome OS, it would give it an edge if that's what you're after. Uh, Chrome OS would actually give you an edge over this if your focus was Android applications. Now, for me, it, it doesn't affect me because my focus is Linux applications, not so much on the Android application side. Uh, but if you want the real application menu, I'll call it, uh, you right click on the desktop and then you can go through and you would have a selection of accessories, graphics, um, internet, so on and so forth. Now by default you're going to have Chromium as your only browser. You're going to have, again, the other applications that will be pre-installed will be Gmail, Google Drive, uh, sign in and set up for those accounts. Under multimedia you did not have VLC, uh, you had YouTube which again opens up in a uh, kind of a windowed app environment if you will. Now I've had some issues with Wi-Fi coming in and out so it, it's telling me it's connected but um, you know if I try to launch into anything right now I think we'll find that it's it's really not. Uh, that's where I installed simple. Let's go to distro watch. So yeah I'm afraid I'm not connected and um, you know, so that could be an issue here with either the fact that it's you know 1404. Um, I did not do a system update here. I just kind of wanted to to revisit this because we've had a few requests to say, you know, yeah, you may want to check it out if you're again just looking for something extremely light, uh, just to browse the web and use web applications. But for a real powerful desktop environment, you, you could make this work. But I don't know why you would want to go through the process really. Uh, you're working with a, you know 1404 Ubuntu base here. Uh, you know we're soon to be looking at 1610. Um, this distro has not been updated in quite some time, and so you know take that into account. Uh, use that for what you will. Um, you know I just think there are better ways, better alternatives, and certainly if you were comparing this to Peppermint OS, hands down in in my book, uh, Peppermint OS would be uh, the distro I would choose over this. Um, you know if you just want to have some fun with something that that's going to get you fairly close to the look and feel of Chrome OS as it is today, um, then this would work for the most part. So I'm not going to go through a lot of settings. I will pop through just a few more applications here under Office. You have Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Slides. And that all makes sense again because this distro is focusing on Chrome OS. Now if you go into System, you have Cub Software Center. Uh, for, for me, this was so-so. Uh, I uh, Again, because I'm having issues here with Wi-Fi staying connected, um, I uh, was going in to do a search for Firefox when I could verify that I was connected to the web and I was not able to pull up Firefox in any of the categories and again I verified that I was connected I went through the browser to verify that I was connected so instead I went into um, Synaptic which is also pre-installed thank goodness and uh, through Synaptic I was able to um, go in and download the software that I wanted well, let me get that right we'll pull into Synaptic here. So thankful to see that. Uh, again, it's an Ubuntu base, so for the most part it would be stable. Um, you know, here I'm having some issues, some hardware issues with Wi-Fi evidently uh, because I've had other distros on this machine with zero issues when it came to network. So um, anyway, wanted to just let you know that in my revisit um, here that I just really would not recommend this at this stage. I think if this distribution were updated and it included ICE, the site-specific site browser, and were updated to a more recent kernel as well as a more recent Ubuntu base, and uh, I think you would have a nice distro here to uh, you know to try in, in various scenarios if you are Google centric and Google focused and this were updated um, this would be a distro I think you'd be interested in but for now I'm just gonna say I would pass on this and certainly again to recap in comparison to Peppermint OS Peppermint OS in my opinion would win hands down so anyway hope this helps and we will check you later